Okay, everyone. Um, this um, is Kathy um, with Scrapping Days. Um, I did this mini for my sister, and I just kind of briefly wanted to show it to you. Uh, forgive me, I'm having to um, hold this camera one-handed. I need to really seriously get a tripod. Um, but anyway, I included these charms on it. Uh, it's a little cross, a butterfly, and a heart. I uh, thought that was very cute. I did the Zutter bind it all for the sides. And this is the Mariposa paper. Um, it's butterfly themed. So I went ahead and decorated the front with the butterflies. And then here's this one was a sticker that was dimensional. I, I really like that one. And also I included the Tim Holtz knob on the front. Okay, let me show you a few of the inner pages. I even included, uh, started it for her, included, included a picture of my mother and my stepfather, um, just to kind of give her an idea of what to do with the book, because uh, I don't think my sister has ever gotten one of these. And um, there's the first inner pages. And the way I did this one is I just offset the cut here uh, with some, I guess it's a thinner chipboard. And that way she can open it up. There's some journaling spots, a place for her pictures. And I also put a, I guess like a transparency strip here. And this one says, take nothing for granted. And um, I think she'll enjoy decorating this book. And this is another of the papers from the pack. And then also uh, just the same concept with offsetting the page a little bit so that she can open it up and then this was another page from the set uh, it was so pretty I hated to cover it up um, but since it has like two pages of each in the pack I took the second page and basically cut out part of the same colored area and made a pocket out of it and then I cut out these butterflies made that a little dimensional there because it matched the butterfly on, on the opposite side of the page. And then this is this page. And of course you can flip it out this way also. And then this is another pocket. And I put two cards in there. And I actually put one of my photographs on this one for her of a butterfly I had taken out in my yard and then this page it says follow your heart if you can get a glimpse of that and these I stamped on here and then just kind of colored them in with my markers and then this page I did some more stamping here and then did this little frame for her. and then she can journal or put another photograph on this side Once again, um, here's another spot for a um, photograph. And I found these cute little, I guess, dangling things. I'm not sure. Decoration. Another pocket on, I did a pocket on this one. And then two tags here that she can put photos on. And then she can open this up. Another page from the pack. I didn't want to cover that up. And she could put uh, two photos here, one on this side, one on this side. And then this, of course, was a Martha Stewart butterfly. Let's see, I'm not good holding this camera one-handed, sorry. And it's dimensional too. See, it flips up. I thought that was very pretty. And there's the back of that. And then you can flip it out, and here's this page, which is also very, very pretty. Then I made this one kind of dimensional up here just by kind of cutting his wings up a little bit. And then there's this page. And then this one, I kind of did the opposite direction. She can open it this way. And I've included a tag in here that I stamped. 
and she can take this tag out, use it, or put a photo on it, journal on it, whichever she wants to do. And this is a very pretty page. I love all these colorful butterflies at the bottom. I think this is one of my favorite pages of the whole thing. And then this one says, listen to your heart at the top. And on this side, I included this vellum envelope that I found. Um, it was a pack of like five of them. And this one seemed to match really well, so I put that there. And of course, you can photo, put a photo on this or journal on it, whichever she chooses. And then I added that button up here in the corner. It has a little cute little tie. Okay, and then the inner page of that. See if I can focus out of this really good. I made a pocket. And I included two tags. Well, three really. That she can stamp. And I used more buttons for the tag holders to kind of use to pull them out with. And then this page has the bird motif on it. And then this side, this was so pretty. And I hate to cut this straight, so I left the tab part on, and she can actually use that to flip the book. So this is just kind of plain for her to put a picture on. And then this, um, I did a little different. I put a strip down this side. And I stripped down this side. I didn't want to mess because this was the most decorative part of each side of the paper. So I put that side of the paper on here and then this side of the paper over here and just made two pockets out of it. And then here I put uh, some tags for her to put her photos on. Okay, in the last pages. Um, this one, uh, kind of plain, but I put a mini, little mini envelope here at the bottom. The little tag that slips in. So she can put her photo here, tuck it behind the top of this little envelope because it's, it's kind of sturdy. And then this last page um, says, enjoy the journey, uh, live, laugh, live, love, laugh. And then I made it a longer kind of tag that goes in there that has a band on it so she can tuck something, something up under there. And then this pocket goes this way and this way, so depending on how she wants to use it, she can go either way. And I did place an eyelet here um, because I am going to run a like elastic piece through here so that she can hook it to the knob on the front to keep her book closed because once she stuffs this thing, it is going to be uh, huge. Anyway, that is that. And of course, I used the same paper on the back of the book for her mini. And also, wanted to share with you some things I got in the mail the other day. Let's see. This was in a stick pin swap that I got on uh, Paper Phenomenon. This one was from Ann. I loved her tag. She actually made that out of cardboard and then covered it with her various papers and some twine and this metal metal flower. Love that. And this one was from Tamara. She did a pinwheel flower. And I love this heart bead that she has on there. So pretty. And this one was from Lori Lee Cat. Laura Cat. So very, very pretty. I love these colors. And there's this one. If you can see that. Let's see who this one was from. It's hard to read with this glare on it. Handmade by Mersa, M-E-R-A-S. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Or 
Mraz, maybe? Is that how you say it? But she did a wonderful job. And this one was very pretty. Got a nice big daisy in there. It looks like a fuzzy button in the center of it. And her colors are like green and yellow. It's like a little flower. I like that. Very pretty. Nancy. Spiritual Designs. Let's see what her website is. Spiritwin10 at gmail.com. Nancy. Very pretty, Nancy. And then, of course, Charlene's button. She was the leader of the group. She did a red and white motif on a black background. Looks like Swiss dots that she might have ran through a cuddle bug or something. Where's Charlene? Ooh, and I got one of my own back. Of course, can't see the button. Let me try to open it. Now we're looking at my pretty paper I found the other day at this paper store here in Virginia Beach. Looks like leather. That's a project I'm working on. Anyway, here is mine. I did the matchbook style kind of presentation. And then my bead was golds and greens. Anyway, that was mine. I got mine back, I guess. Um, uh, there was a postal strike in Canada or something. One of our people couldn't get her stuff in. Uh, so I, I'm guessing that's why she sent this back to me. And if you want to see my future project, I am doing this book. It is paper mache. Looks like a book. You see it has like the little things that stick out. And so this is my next project. I've only got the center part painted so far. I'm trying to make it look like actual pages. So I'm working on that. But as I said, I found this pretty, pretty paper. It looks like leather. I'm going to do the binding in this. And of course, y'all have seen many people show off their Graphics 45. I love this paper. So that's what uh, is going to be the theme of my book. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And y'all have a great day. Thank you.